Uh, how do you keep your mm. clothes clean? If you don't have power to run your 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 washing machine, let's say it's it's you know it's going week two, week three, you've used up all your underwear, you've used up all your socks. What do you do? Well, you can start scrunching things in your sink, but there's a better way. Okay, so the bucket. It's a seven and a half gallon bucket uh, that I got from our neighborhood pool. You can use a five gallon bucket. The trick is you want a tight fitting lid because you need to seal it up. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be putting hot water in there. You're going to be putting a few drops of soap. You don't want much soap. You're going to have a plunger. This you know, a dollar store plunger. And one thing, you, you need to put holes in the plunger so that the water, when you're forcing down, can come out through the plunger and recirculate in there. So you fill it, you know, two-thirds of the way up with hot water. You put in, you know, several pairs of underwear and socks, maybe a shirt. You put in your plunger. You put in the soap. You seal it down. And you start plunging your clothes. This works way better than just squishing with your hands. And you can have different people pound away on it. You do that for five minutes or so. And you disassemble. Dump out the water. Squeeze out as much of the water and soap as you can from the clothes. Put it back in here. Put fresh water in here. Again, about two-thirds of the way up. Put the plunger and the cap in there and plunge away for a while. And you got to rinse it out like two or three times. You know, the, the first time you do it, you're probably going to use too much soap. And it's going to take longer to rinse all the soap out. But you want to go until there's no bubbles, no slipperiness, no feeling of soap. Because you don't want soap on your clothing. So your basic off-grid washing machine made from a five-gallon. Or if you can get it, the seven-gallon. Is Chad Moran here tonight? Chad, you need to make these and sell these on Etsy if you're here. Uh, he has a pool service, so he gets lots of these seven-gallon buckets with the screw-on lid. You drill a hole, and like I said, you have your plunger. You have holes in the plunger, so when you're plunging, the water can circulate around, and you are basically mashing your clothes to wash them that way. So if you don't want to do that, if you feel weird plunging your clothes, another thing you can do, if, again, you need a five-gallon bucket, you need one with a watertight lid. There's a thing called a gamma seal, or even on a, like the, uh, the Home Depot buckets, they'll have a snap-on lid, but you need one that seals on it really tight, no holes in it. I have the hole for the plunger, and then just a little air hole, so, you know, it doesn't, uh, you can let some of the air out while you're sealing it up and everything. Um, but you want a tight lid, and then you put like uh, you know a, a water bottle, uh, the, the regular size water bottle in there filled with water, and you roll it back and forth. You like roll it, roll it, roll it one day, roll it, roll it, roll it back. The reason for putting a second water bottle in there, you know, the little you know 750 milliliter drinking or 500 milliliter, whatever it is, is again to work as an agitator. Like ideally, you might put two of the water bottles in there so they can beat on the clothing because that beating process is what's going to help break free the dirt from the clothes and the stink and the funk. So, again, a five gallon or seven and a half gallon bucket with a watertight seal that you can fill again, like two thirds with water, put in some underwear, put in some socks, put in a shirt. If you're gonna do a pair of jeans, uh, probably just one set of jeans at a time in something like this, but uh, squish and pound and, and go at it that way and abuse your clothing. Or you go down to the river and you put a little of the bio, and okay, actually, here's the thing. The biodegradable soap I showed you, it's not supposed to be used directly in a river. No soap is supposed to be used directly in a river or a pond or any sort of wild water. 
because the soap will screw up the fishes and anything else in the water's ability to, uh, the way their gills work, it screws up the ability to transfer oxygen and carbon dioxide out. So even if you have a biodegradable soap, you wanna do it away from a water source. If you're just gonna you know, wash your clothes down by the river, that's where you just beat them on a rock and squish and squish and squish and squish. Don't use soap unless we are talking end of the world zombie sort of thing where you know, even then you probably don't wanna poison the fish because you wanna eat the fish. So yeah, if you are washing clothes or washing your body in wild water, don't use soap. Just use sand and you know, maybe the wood ashes because the soap can poison the fish, even the biodegradable soap. It's not designed to be put directly into the water. <laughs> okay, if I'm resorting to plunging clothes, I don't think I will care what it looks like. Uh, good point. Yeah. You can do it in the privacy of your own home, I guess. But yeah, the good old chlorine buckets. That's what this is, the uh, the chlorine tablets for the pool. Really great thing. And then the chlorine tablets have their own uses. Yep, like making butter. So they actually sell, and since we have Amazon up, um, let me do this, RV clothes washer. So they have different things, like they have this one with a hand crank on it, you know, 60 bucks. They have this one with a foot pedal that does the agitation, different things like that. Or you get a $5 bucket and a $2 plunger and throw it up in your attic or in your back somewhere, or even use the bucket for other things. Um, you know, just keep it in mind that at some point I might be using the bucket to wash clothing. So to me, I have no money. So even spending 60 bucks on, you know, a little compact washing machine, uh, I'm not going to do that. So this one's kind of cool. This one, you, you plunge up and down in the bucket for only 140 bucks, two bucks and a five gallon bucket, like four bucks. So there, there are solutions out there for you. I mean, you can stock up on, baby wipes and the uh rinseless shampoo where is the rinseless shampoo let's do the rinseless shampoo so you can have this stuff and and cat is probably familiar with like in hospitals is where this was developed for for you know washing people's hair you just kind of rub it in and then it evaporates away yeah you can store this on hand in case, you know, for the next disaster or just before a disaster, you can run out and get some maybe. Um, that's not exactly the sort of situation we're talking. We're talking like it's too late to do that. You are in an improvised hygiene situation where you are scrambling. You are looking at, you know, the water from sweet peas as a source of water to clean yourself. <laughs> 